Hi guys, it's Vita from Honest and Tasty. So a few weeks ago, my husband Barry and I went to Italy for a big graduation trip. And we went to this town in the Amalfi Coast, or along the Amalfi Coast, called Positano. And we had the most delicious Mediterranean potato and tuna salad that I've ever had in my life. I've never had a salad like this. I loved it so much that I went back day after day. Well, we were only there for like three days, but I really just adore this salad. So now I'm home, I'm craving it, I wanna make it, it's delicious. I'm gonna make it for you guys, show you how to make it, and you're gonna love it too. It's filling, it's healthy, it is so satisfying, and the perfect summer lunch. Also, nothing, nothing, nothing like the tuna salads we're used to in the States. So let's get to it, because it's so wonderful. Starting out with our potatoes, I have some small potatoes that I have peeled and then cubed and simmered in a pot of water with some salt until fork tender. Then I let them cool. So I'm just going to add some pesto to this. Yes, this is a store-bought pesto. Um, I don't really feel like making pesto right now. This is just a quick lunch, and this is really good pesto. You definitely don't want to overcook your potatoes, because if you do, they will start to mash, and I don't want mashed potatoes with my salad. So, so now we've got some arugula. I'm just gonna toss that into my bowl. I want to add my tuna now. So this is not your uh, average white tuna, the albacore tuna that you can buy from the store. This is the nice darker variety. It has more flavor and it's packed in olive oil. And then the next thing is some scallions. I've already been chopping some, but we just want a handful of chopped scallions for some nice freshness to the salad. I have some wonderful fresh picked cherry tomatoes that taste so much better than the kind that I buy from the store. Some of those nice pesto potatoes. And then I have some Kalamata olives. They are so good. They're already pitted. I didn't have to do anything because they're already sliced as well. So just some of those, and then some capers for their brininess. They impart such a delightful flavor. Just a little bit of salt to taste and some black pepper. The last thing that I'm going to add to this before the dressing is some dried Chile de Arbol. I actually really love them in this salad. Um, if you want some spice but you don't want it to be too hot, just get rid of the seeds. Just slice some right over the salad. So our salad is all ready for us to just top with the dressing. It's a really, really simple vinaigrette of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. That's it, that's all you need because we're not trying to mask the flavors of our ingredients, we're trying to enhance them. So just a little salt, pepper, olive oil, and balsamic is all you need for that. Make sure you get some good olive oil. Most olive oils are contaminated with chemicals and other poor quality oils, and you need to be careful with what you buy. So. Make sure you get a good quality olive oil. Do your research. I will put up on my blog the pine that I like, and it's a good one. Okay, so it's from Whole Foods. It's the California one, but the specific information is on my blog. Time to finally eat this thing. I mean, it didn't take that long, but I, I'm hungry. Mmm, -hmm. I'm just reminded again by how delicious this salad is. Honestly, this is my go-to summer salad from now on. 
and I hope it is for you guys too. You're gonna love it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I will be so happy if you do that and leave a comment and like the video. Okay guys, I'll see you next time.